environments are really the building blocks inside the Rex toolbox and creating them is relatively simple. When uh, opening the environment tab and clicking on the new environment, you basically have two options. One is to automatically generate the rooms and the other is manual. Let's first watch how we create rooms automatically. You have a few options. First is the number of rooms you want to use. This can be from 1 to 10. Let's start at 5. Below that is the option to choose the sizes of rooms you wish to use. Let's say we're happy with this choice and now to generate the rooms just hit build. This already looks quite good. But let's say that we're not really happy with this specific layout, so we want to try again. And again. This can be alright, but let's try again. And maybe we want more rooms. No, actually I want less. Ah, excellent. And the other way to create rooms is by going to the manual section. Now, warning, all your unsaved progress will be lost. In the manual mode, you can choose each room individually. So let's start with something big by clicking on it. Now, after placing the first room, you then have the option to choose to which room or which door the next room connects to. So you can really build these intricate mazes out of these separate rooms. And you can change the sizes and just continue building. Now it's advised to use these uh, buttons on the screen, not your keyboard buttons, as the keyboard buttons sometimes introduce some uh, bugs. Now let's say we're happy with this layout. The other thing Rex allows to do very easily is to add furniture to these quite empty rooms at the moment. And to do that we simply can press this button down there which is to automatically furnish the rooms. Let's try it now. And we get a quite random distribution of objects inside the rooms. But also we can add furniture manually. So let's just save this file here by giving it a name, uh, room 1, and a tag, which should be quite short, and an optional description. And now let's go back to the automatic generation and show how we can add furniture manually. So let's just find a good setup. Yeah, let's say I want this room. And I'm going to start with adding automatic furniture. Then I'm going to save it. It's going to be room number two with a tag number two. And now I'm going to click the save and edit in 3D button, which will take us to the 3D editor. Inside the 3D editor, we can easily move around using the arrow keys or the WASD keys. And once we have our object in sight that we want to transform or move or scale, we just click on it with our mouse. And we have some different options to, for example, change the position using our arrow keys or the rotation. And even the size. So it's a very massive chair here. Another thing that we can do in the 3D editor is to apply some very specific uh, behaviors to the objects. So since Rex is used for psychological research, there are some built-in functions here. For example, to study change blindness, there are some common 
behaviors that the objects in the change blindness experiments exhibit, such as the flicker paradigm basically shows the objects uh, once and then hides it and then reveals it again when the person is not looking at them. You can test it out. So this is how it would look, but it will only change when the person is not watching at the object. So let's save it right now and then move on to the actual building of the experiments, which happens in a different part of the Rex toolbox.